Hello and welcome back. All right, we are now going to learn about a very important tool that you need to master as a graphic designer, and that is the alignment tool. So we need to make sure that all our layers and elements and shapes and images and whatever else we have in our design are properly aligned. If not, your designs are going to look sloppy and you're gonna have a hard time getting new clients and any clients you do have are not going to be real happy if you provide them with items that are not aligned because it's going to look, like I said, it's going to look sloppy and unprofessional. So let's go ahead and take a look at the alignment tool and we're gonna practice using it in this tutorial. So in this project, we are first going to learn how to use the alignment tool and then I'll have you create your own flyer for your portfolio. So go ahead and grab this file from your section seven folder and we'll go ahead and get started on learning how to use the alignment tool. So the alignment tool is located right here on the toolbar. This is the icon. So go ahead and select that and then we can begin working on aligning our layers. So the alignment tool is one of those tools that is essential for graphic designers using GIMP. And it's a skill set that's going to require time and practice to learn how to use it. it. It does have some intricacies that make it a little bit difficult to use at first, but over time, as you use it more and more, it will become easier and easier. So let's go ahead and start off by aligning our title here. We're going to grab our flyer project layer. Now that it's selected, we're going to take our alignment tool and click anywhere on the inside of our layer boundary here. And when you do, you're going to notice these four little white squares in the corner. So we have to tell GIMP that this is the layer that we want to align. And when we click on it, we then have a visual cue showing that this layer is ready to be aligned. Now we need to go to our tool options to access the alignment tools. So here at the top, we have relative to first item, which is the layer I selected. But if we click on this, you'll notice other options in here as well. We could also select image, which is actually the canvas and not any of the images themselves. We can also align to a selection, the active layer, which is what we currently have active. And then we can also align via the active channel and the active path. So we're just going to use these items here first. We're going to select first item and then we're going to click on align center of target and that automatically aligns the title in the center of the document. So that's one of the most easiest ways to align something within the document itself. We're going to go over some more complex alignment options now. So what we need to do is align our layers here. So let's go back to our layers panel just for a moment. And let's go ahead and take our alignment tool and click on this first image here. So it's now ready to be aligned with the other images or the document itself. But what I want to do is I want to align these images so that they're perfectly aligned at the top of each other. So let's click on the next image, but what happened is we lost the ability to align this first image and now this one is selected. So anytime you click on a new layer, it's going to activate that layer to be aligned. So in order to activate all three of them, we need to hold down our shift key before clicking on the next image. So hold down your shift key, click, still holding my shift key and clicking again. I now have all three layers active and ready to be aligned. Let's go back to our tool options because we really don't need to select the layer itself. It's all about selecting with the alignment tool. So again, we have relative to first item, which is basically the first item we picked or whichever layer is at the top. And the importance of that is going to become more apparent as we continue with this tutorial. So let's go ahead and select this option here to align to the top edge of the target. So everything's going to align to the top edge of this image here. So go ahead and click right there and it actually did the opposite. It aligned to the top edge of this one instead and that's because we have first item selected. 
So let's go up to edit and select undo arrange objects. So everything is put back. They're still activated even though the squares are aligned with this image here. They're still activated. So don't worry about that. What we're going to do is we're going to select align bottom of target and we get the same result. Go back to edit, undo arrange objects. This time we're going to change relative to to active layer. And now let's go back to our layers panel so we can select our portrait layer, back to tool options, and this time align to top edge of target. So now everything moved up and aligned to the top of this image because we have active layer and the actual layer we want to align to selected. Okay, back to edit, undo, arrange objects. Back to tool options, and now we're going to select relative to image. This time we're going to select align bottom of target, and now everything moves to the bottom of the document. And that's because relative to image, like I mentioned, is actually the document itself and not the individual layers. All right, let's go back to edit, undo, and then we're going to go back to first item and align to top. All right, so what I wanna show you now is adding an even amount of space between each image. That way this middle image is directly in the center of these two. So we have some options down here called distribute. And if we click on this item here, it says distribute horizontal centers of target. So our target is the first item so if we click on this, you would think it would add an even amount of space between them. Let's try it, but it doesn't. Instead, it's placing each image layer above the other. Back to undo and undo arrange. We have a keyboard shortcut here, command or control plus the letter Z. So let's go ahead and use that keyboard shortcut throughout the rest of this tutorial so we don't have to come up here and select from the menu option. Again, everything is still selected even though we don't see those little squares, but if you wanna see them again, just hold down your shift key and click on one of the images and they will magically reappear. All right, so there are some things going on here that we need to do to adjust the spacing between them evenly. So if we take a look down here, we have offset X, offset Y. So this is horizontal, this is vertical. So we need to tell GIMP how much space we wanna place in between each of the images. So if we type in 350 and then click on this option here, it will add an even amount of space between them, but it's not really 350 pixels wide because that would be somewhere in this range here, that amount of space. So I'm not quite sure what this number represents. So it takes some time to figure out how much to offset the X or the Y if you're trying to align vertically versus horizontally. Let's go ahead and put this back to zero. We're going to use our keyboard shortcut, command or control and the letter Z to undo that. All right, let me go ahead and show you another way of adding an even amount of space between the images without using the offset X or Y. So instead of relative to first item, we're going to select image and we're going to select distribute targets evenly in the horizontal. Once you select that, we now have an even amount of space between the images here and all three of them are now perfectly aligned in the center horizontally in the document itself. But let's say that the amount of space between the images is too much and you wanna move them so that they're closer together. Well, what we can do is create a selection and then place those images directly inside of that selection. So let's do that by grabbing our rectangle select tool. So right over here, we're going to start off by clicking and dragging out a selection right about there. Let's grab our alignment tool again. We're going to hold down our shift key and click on the other two images. And then in relative to, we're going to choose selection and now we're going to distribute targets evenly in the horizontal again and now we have less space between them and they're perfectly aligned along the horizontal path in that selection. We can also align directly in the center top to bottom 
by selecting this option here. So now all three images are perfectly aligned in the center, but they are not aligned directly in the center of the document. So how are we going to fix that? Well, let's first go up to select and select none to deselect. All right, let's go back to our layers panel. And what we're going to do is we're going to group all three layers into a grouped layer. Select your top image here and then right click and select new layer group. We're going to click and drag this layer up to this layer here, which is the layer group. Once you see that outline around it, release, and then that layer is placed inside of it. So if we click on this little icon right here, it will collapse that layer group. And we can see that that layer is inside there by turning off the layer group entirely. So let's do the same with the other two layers as well. We're going to click and drag up. And for the second image here, we're going to wait until we see that little white line right there. Once we release, it is then inside of the group and we can turn both layers off right here. All right, let's add our third layer as well. And now that all three are inside, we are going to select our layer group, go back to tool options. Let's go up to select, select all, and then click on this icon right here. Make sure you have selection selected and then it doesn't work. Well, let's find out why. Let's go ahead and undo that with command or control and the letter Z. The reason why is because we had those three individual layers selected with the alignment tool. And what we need instead is we need to have the group layer selected with the alignment tool. So let's go ahead and click and then we have the alignment tool selecting the entire group this time versus the individual images. Okay, so now we can come up here and click on align center of target. And now everything is perfectly aligned in the center horizontally. If we want it aligned vertically as well, click on this icon. And now it's perfectly centered in our document. All right, let's deselect, select and none. All right, so let's go ahead and finish up our project here by adding some paragraphs below each image. So we're gonna grab our text tool. And this time, instead of clicking, we're going to click and drag out a box like this. So this is our text box and any content that we put inside of here will be contained to this box. Now, one of the things you're going to need as a graphic designer is content. Your clients aren't going to always have content for a particular project until maybe after they approve the design or until they get the content from their copywriter. So in that case, you want to use what is known as dummy text to put in place of that content so you can show your client the design that you came up with. And then once they approve the design and provide you with the real content, then you can replace that content accordingly. So in order to get dummy text, we need a text generator to create this dummy text, or it's also known as filler text. So let's take a look at a generator here. It's called lorem ipsum, which is another name for dummy text or filler text. So let's go back here and in Google, we can do a search for lorem ipsum, or you can also do a search for dummy text generator. And there's a lot of different options to choose from. Which one you choose is entirely up to you. It doesn't really matter. All we really need is some text to fill in our paragraphs. So I'm just going to go ahead and select all this content here, right click and select copy. All right, let's go back to GIMP. And then we can come in here to our text box, right click and select paste. Okay, I can't see the content right now because the color of the font is the same as my background. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click to select everything. I'm going to change the color to black and the size to 14. I'm also going to change the font to a font called Railway. And then when I select another tool, that content will be contained within that text box size and shape that I created. If I go back to my text tool and click inside and double click to select everything, we can see there's more content below it. 
which is fine because the dummy text is just for a visual representation for our particular design. Now, the one thing we do need to do though, is we need to adjust the size of this particular paragraph so that it's aligned with the left and right side of our image here. And that's going to create a much cleaner design versus something that is not perfectly aligned. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my zoom tool here. I'm going to click and drag around the content in the first image to zoom in. I'm gonna go back to my text tool, click inside. And if you navigate around the edges on the outside of this text box, you're gonna see these little rectangles highlighted. So those are going to allow you to resize the box. So I can click here and drag to the right to align it to the right side of my image here. I'm gonna do the same with this one as well. I can resize it top to bottom as well, or I can grab a corner and resize it that way as well. All right, so I wanna duplicate this content to go underneath each one of these other images as well. So we're gonna go back to our layers panel and the content that I created ended up in my layer group here. And I don't necessarily need it inside of the grouped layer. So to get it out, I can click and drag it out of the grouped layer. Now we're gonna come down here and click on this icon to duplicate two times. We now have three paragraphs and we just need to move and align them accordingly. So let's grab our move tool. We're gonna to go to tool options and make sure you have pick a layer or guide selected. That way, when you go to move a particular layer, when you click on it, it's going to select that layer and move it. We don't need to necessarily select it in the layers panel here. So we can now come over here and just click on one of the letters to move that paragraph. Now, the only problem with this method is if you don't select the content for that layer, it's going to select the information below it. And now I'm moving the background layer itself and not the text layer. So if you want, you could always keep it on move active layer. You just need to make sure you come in and select the layer that you want to move. So I'm gonna place it right there. We're gonna grab our alignment tool. We're going to click on this first layer here, hold down your shift key and select the other two and then align to the top, but we need to change relative to first item. Okay, let's go ahead and go up to view and zoom fit image and window. All right, we now have everything perfectly aligned. So now it's your turn to practice using the alignment tool. And then I want you to come up with your own design with your own images, your own title. And of course you can use dummy text so you need to create something for your portfolio that's different from what we've created thus far. Flyers are a very popular type of design project that you may get from clients. So having a flyer or two or three with different design elements and layouts would go a long way in helping you find new clients and new projects.